any business questions, visits the UK's top business networking events to find the best people to share ideas about business with. It's a chance to see the value of networking, discussing ideas, learning tips and having a bit of fun too. Don't forget to join us at the community afterwards to find out the next filming date and to discuss ideas in the show. Let's move on to question two. And I think this is a really good question, real fundamental business question this. Uh, what price to charge? Charlotte in Woking runs a business with five staff running children's parties. And she says she wants to raise her prices but doesn't want to put off her clients. We've all got this quandary, haven't we? She asks, how do the panel pick their prices and how do you think she should approach it? Neville, let's start with you. Okay. Well, I mean, Charlotte wants to put up the prices, so she must have a reason, number one, for wanting to put up the prices. Mm. Um, I think nowadays everybody will expect through economics that prices will rise in the service. Mm. But more importantly for Charlotte, she needs to show the value of her service. Yeah. If people value her service more, they will be willing to pay more. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about the pound sign, it's what does it represent. So she needs to demonstrate. Yes, yeah. in a, to a total. What does this mm -hmm. service in total giving mm. that's above maybe competition? Mm. And that's why people are happy to pay that little bit extra. Mm. But how do you then, uh, let's, let's move on to Mark, how do you then pick that price point though? So you've demonstrated your credibility. Mm. I mean, it sounds like she's got a successful yeah. business, she's got five yeah. people working for her. How does she then go, that's well, the right one price? Of, one of the, the things that one do in business is always looking around as a marketing research to see how what is your competitor but that, that's not the main thing the main thing is that how, what is your service the quality of services you are giving you are not charging per hour you are charging for a package for something that is going to be worthy for the client mm. what about, I mean, you, you've had some corporate experience as well I mean, you've had the chance to move between both worlds sort of the individual sole trader mm. and the corporate world how does pricing work in that respect I mean, um, you actually have to look at the end customer and the client and determine what their needs are. If you can understand what the needs of the client is, also the geographic location, what the market will bear in the That's area right, yeah. that you're yeah. in. So if you're living in an area which is where your environment and the services that you're offering to clients who really can't afford to pay that price, then you are targeting your whole um, um, service and product to the wrong market. So you actually have to check and see what is the local price point that a market can bear in the area where you're conducting business and then to look at it and see what the needs are of that client or the clients that you want to service and find, as the others have said, the unique selling point that you have in your business and then target it um, and then decide on your price point. That's a really interesting point about the location. So, so you could be offering a quality service in one area and in another area and charge a complete different price. Absolutely. Some really good points there. It really does uh, show the benefits of networking as well. Thank you all. So we've got some more questions, but thank you all for joining us to uh, away from this networking meeting for a couple of seconds. Um, right, let's move on. There are tons of websites, of course, to find out about networking events around the country. This particular one here is at the North Star Pub in Chessington in Surrey. And actually, when's the next one? It's on the 8th of July, which is the last one. And we will be doing a Latino party. A Latino party at the next... 8th of July. Yes. yes the right. Of and July. 2014, if you're watching this in the future as well. Over the past few minutes, you've been part of Any Business Questions. Now carry on the conversation on Twitter with the hashtag, or one word, Any Business Questions. Or join us on the community. Just go to Google Plus and type in Any Business Questions. If you'd like us to come to your event too, have a look at the Business TV section on the ShoutPow website. That's shoutpow.com, the Business TV section. We all hope to see you at the next event.